are entering a dangerous new era of warfare. So our main focus has to be the future and how we deal with the developing dangers. Today, we offer you a glimpse of tomorrow. Starting with the unveiling of this, the new concept model beside me, of Tempest. What you see behind me is Tempest. Now this is a future concept for a, a, a British fighter. It was launched yesterday, uh, unveiled by Defence Secretary Gavin Williamson as part of the UK's future combat air strategy. Um, now I like the fact that it's called Tempest. Of course we operate typhoons at the moment after a successful World War II fighter. Tempest was an even more successful uh, World War II uh, aircraft towards the end of the war, um, so maybe that bodes well for the future, I like to think so. What this isn't is an actual future aircraft program, because what the RAF Rapid Capabilities Office are doing here, in conjunction with BA Systems, Rolls-Royce, Leonardo and MBDA, is to fulfil FCAS TI, the Future Combat Air System Technology uh, Initiative that was launched as part of the 2015 uh, Strategic Defence and Security Review. So it's really um, a framework uh, on which they can develop new technologies and, and new techniques because this is not just about technology, it's about a new way of doing acquisition, breaking from the systems of old and actually rapidly developing and upgrading systems and really breaking the mould of the old-fashioned way of doing things that is really, in this day and age, given the advancing threats that we face, taking far too long. So, the RAF are very aggressive about this. Um, Air Chief Marshal um, Rochelle yesterday was um, very combative in, in way how he talked about this program uh, and he was saying to the skeptics in the room well you just wait and see and judge us by what we do so that's our job as journalists and hopefully we will see some real results because it it does sound like a very exciting project under the wing of Tempest here we can see MBDA's latest weapon systems, we've got a Meteor Beyond Visual Range uh, air-to-air missile there and uh, Spear 3 which is their latest uh, air to ground munition. These, these are currently in the process of being integrated onto the REF's current weapon platforms. When we think about the future weapon systems for Tempest though, it could go well beyond missiles like this to include for example directed energy weapons, lasers if you like. But that presents a particular problem in terms of power. And so to solve that, Rolls-Royce are looking to do something really innovative with the engines on this aircraft. They'll still be gas turbines, but for example, they'll actually have generators embedded within the aircraft itself, developing electrical energy from the kinetic energy from the engine. Um, sufficient to actually power systems like a directed energy weapon. So, in terms of the timetable for this initiative, Gavin Williamson said yesterday when he launched it that he wanted to see early decisions around next generation capability made by the end of 2020 and a final investment decision by 2025. Now, now that means that 